Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Uh, today I'm going to continue the build of the Prusa Mark, uh, Mark III printer. Uh, in the last video I finished step 2 in the build and in this video I'm going to do step 3 for the build. So uh, let's get started after the intro. So in step three, we are going to build the X axis. Uh, I noticed when I was watching the step two video, I always referred the Y axis as the X axis, uh, but uh, the X axis is the is the axis where the print head moves uh, uh, from side to side, and the Y axis is the carriage with the print bed moving back and forth. So that was a little bit of mix-up in the previous video uh, on several occasions, but uh, just uh, uh, ignore that error <laughs> in the previous video. But now I'm gonna just, uh, continue with the build. So I'll do time lapses and talk in between like I did in step two. So the first step is to prepare the bearings. Uh, I put them in the plastic parts. And, uh, I note that you should align the bearings in a specific way. So uh, uh, the balls inside the bearings are rotated 45 degrees uh, from bearing to bearing. So. You have to make sure you insert them correctly. And uh, I say that you have to put them from this side. So I'm gonna make sure the bearings are correct. So now the bearings are in, and they say that you. Uh, should align the bearings to the end to the plastics so there's a gap between the bearings in inside so I have to move it a little bit back so its bearings should be flush against the plastic on its, its side so there's a little gap uh, here you can use a screwdriver to to move the bearings to the correct place and the next step is to uh, set in the X end idler bearing assembly so there's a nylon nut that goes in uh, this side it was a little bit difficult to put the put nut in but uh, it's not a huge issue. And then you use a 18 millimeter screw to thread in from the other side. And here you have to make sure that the bearing can rotate freely. I tighten it a little bit more to get the nut more in, but released it again. So it's uh, now it turns without any issues. So now you have to prepare the, the rods. Those are the longer, longest rods you can use. Put on the bearings, they don't. Uh, mention the, the orientation of the bearings so I guess it doesn't matter much but I'm gonna try to put them at a 45 degree offset so now you uh, insert the rod into the plastic parts so the two bearings are at the top uh, top part and the one bearing is at the bottom and there's a small hole 
here in the plastic that you can see through and on this side also just make sure the rod is going all the way in and it was very easy to put them in so that was not an issue so the next step is to get the x-axis x motor and that is clearly marked on the motor x-axis so you have to uh, make sure you get that uh, on the pulley tell you to put the motor like this uh, on the flat surface of the motor uh, facing upwards and the pulley should uh, be oriented in, in this way going in like this slightly uh, tighten the, the nuts so it uh, will be adjusted later so um, the motor will be fastened by three 18 millimeter screws the cable should be facing down just like this the next step and um, step 10 is to prepare the x credits pre-assembly and that is this part and um, two zip ties five uh, square nuts and you have to put put in the square nuts in five locations a little bit difficult to get get them in but not a huge problem and now you have to put in the the straps and my cat keeps trying to face out the straps so now you have to turn the assembly like this and uh, part go uh, underneath the bearing going inside the plastic part tighten the straps like so so this is the x-axis assembly uh, now this is part is is finished the guide tells you to have a gummy bear to congratulate yourself on finishing this step uh, so this part will, was rather quick and short video I'll uh, make this into a separate video though because I want to have all the steps in a separate video so uh, for now I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next step step 4